what to do, baby. So in case you guys can tell already, this is the top 10 things I love about my Tesla Model X. Performance, baby! So I had this car for about five months. No, if I got it in November, goodness gracious, I'm bad with math. That means I got it in three months. Okay, scratch that. Instead of five months, three months. I really enjoy this car, I really love it. Uh, of course, there's some things that I don't like about the car, but we're gonna keep that for another video. But for now, we're gonna talk about the things I love about the car, because I got so many things that I love about the car. But I'm gonna give you guys the top 10 reasons why I love this car. Now starting off with the first thing that I love about this car, it's gonna have to be the looks. I know the looks is a love and hate relationship, but I actually fell in love with it and I fell into the love category of the looks of this car. Um, the reason I love this car is because I feel like it's like a mixture of a soccer mom's minivan and a Cadillac Escalade. Like I feel like it's just like one of those they, if they just had a baby, I feel like it would make this, honestly, because I feel like it has everything. The space as a minivan. Cadillac has space too, but Cadillac also has the looks. So I feel like they really took the time into making this car, how it looks. I love the headlights, the rims, the paint job. I don't know what Elon Musk did to my paint job, but sometimes that red be sparkling like no other red. Um, that's the God honest truth. No, but seriously, the looks of this car, I absolutely, absolutely love. Absol abso abso absolutely love about this car. Let's go on to the second thing that I love about this car. Now, the second thing I really love about this car is that it's fully electric. When I first heard that it was fully electric, I thought it was honestly a hybrid at first. I really thought that why would somebody own a fully electric car when there's gas stations every freaking block away from uh, from another gas station? So I knew with uh, electric, it was really gonna be pretty hard to find the charging station for it or something like that along those lines. But as I started doing more research, I started realizing that there's quite a bit of uh, charging stations and they might take longer than you would uh, put gas into your car I know putting gas in your car is easy five minutes and everything for fully charged for this car I believe it's like around uh, 40 to 50 minutes I want to say give or take but that's not the actual facts I have the facts right here pop up on the screen but for the most part I really haven't took it to a charging station yet I honestly just um, been charging at my house I have a, a Tesla charger at my house that we imported in the garage someone's stealing a car trust me electric is the best way to go it saves the environment you know what I'm saying to not polluting the air you know it's also um, very quiet I don't know if you guys can hear but it's on right now you probably, you probably can hear the, like the little sound from the air that's coming now oh no it stopped never mind never mind it stopped sometimes when I turn on the car you can hear like the air vents going off I'm all about eco-friendly I'm a lie I'm not very eco-friendly I do pollute the air if I do drive gas cars so and do a lot of things with gas so never mind I'm not equal friendly I lied sorry don't come after me before I say the third thing that I love about this car let me show you before because you know I'm a shower not a teller oh my lord look at these doors so the third thing of course is the falcon wing doors I love these things to death to death to death these are this this right here is what makes the car, the doors. And um, honestly, they do it like no other. Lamborghini goes straight up. McLaren goes kind of straight up, but to the side a little bit. And then BMW IH just go to the side up. And like these doors, honestly, compare to the Mercedes. Um, oh my God, I can't think of the model, but the Mercedes, uh, it's a two seater. My God. Oh, is it SLS? No, it's not the SLS. I think it is the SLS. Mercedes SLS is a comparison to how these doors go up. They go straight up and uh, this is very much of a, a car that likes to, you know, makes its presence known and when I want to pull up somewhere, I make a statement. If no one's in the back, I'll act like somebody's in the back and I'll just open up the doors. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. I do. I mean, who wouldn't with this freaking, with these doors, who wouldn't like try to show off these doors? That's the third thing I love about this car is the doors. Now the fourth thing I love about this car is going to have to be, I'm going to have to show you on my phone. So the fourth thing I want to show you guys is going to be on my phone. It's going to be the Tesla app. Now on this Tesla app, 
I can do about everything that I want to do to the car like put the AC on you know if it's a little hot outside and I know the interior is hot because I can tell right here it lets me know what the degrees of the interior is and like that and I can see that I have my climate on now and let's see if it's working oh I forgot I don't have the key on me so what I can do pop out my app and I can easily unlock the car by just pressing this button right here are you sure you want to remotely unlock your vehicle yes so now it unlocks and I easily can just press on the thing and you see the AC I don't know if you guys can hear it but the AC is on right now and yeah I think this is a really cool feature um, about this car too is how smart this car is um, the controls I can do the honk I can control the start I can start the car already and tell your Tesla account password can't let you guys know what that is um, so we're not gonna do that I can do the trunk I mean just about everything I can do on this car sentry mode which is obviously sentry mode if I turn that on if someone gets too close to the car it records them automatically and yeah I really love this car um, and the, the features that it has and the technology it has honestly to it technology is a big big factor in this car it really focuses on technology and what you can do to the car through your phone um, when you're just driving and things like that the technology is a big game changer too in this car and uh, yeah let's go on to the fifth thing baby now the fifth thing is Tesla experience uh, Tesla experience honestly was a little bit of both bad and good at the same time but I feel like the good outweigh the bad um, so when I first got this car I know if you guys haven't watched already the link is gonna be in the description of when I um, actually picked up this car and went through the process and everything um, this car was actually had a lot of dents when well, I dents it had a lot of scratch marks on the front end it had about um, a cracked windshield so yeah they had to replace all that and they all did that in a matter of like quick in a matter of just uh like less than a week and they got the car back to me and we signed for the paperwork right there and then um went over the car and made sure there's no other scratch marks or anything like that they made it honestly an easy process honestly signing for the papers and everything like that that took honestly about like 30 minutes of our day and we signed it quick everything was online um and yeah so this car, the car experience and the Tesla experience has honestly been a rocky road, good and bad. Um, like any love story, you know, it always has its good and bad. But the good honestly outweighs the bad. And yeah, I really love this car. How many times am I going to say I love this car? I don't care. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go on to the sixth reason why I love this car. Now the sixth reason why I love this car. Or the sixth reason why I love this car is honestly I am a lazy person and what I love about this car is that the door opens by itself now most of you guys probably already seen this already but for those that don't know this door actually opens by itself when I go next to the door which it didn't do right now what the <laughs> <Got he. laughs> so now it actually should work let me see nope and it doesn't I don't know why it's not working honestly this is getting on my nerves but no I still love this car but I'm gonna show you guys a little b-roll shot of what I'm talking about and honestly when I come out of my house and into my car just to have that that little cool feature that I don't have to open the door or anything I know it makes me sound like I'm freaking what bougie or something like that but all seriousness, I feel like if anyone had this car and the, or any car that can open by itself when you just have your presence right there, um, it's a pretty cool feature. For lazy people like me, we need our doors to be open for us. Now let's go on to the seventh thing that I love about this car is going to be, it's gonna have to be inside this interior. Look how nice and white this vegan leather, this cocaine white, oh my God, looks so shiny so good honestly when i get it dirty or something like that I spill something on it it's easily wiped off um with just a rug i mean rug <laughs> with just a rag and yeah look at this carbon fiber it has a carbon fiber option on it too i mean 
this car and this interior is honestly to die for. Man, I could sing. I could become a singer, watch. One day I'm gonna become the new Justin Bieber. Mm. What the hell did that person just say? I'm moving on to the eighth thing. And from here, so on, I'm gonna start talking about things inside the car. So to start with, let's just move on to the eighth thing, which is going to be the software updates. Yeah, the car does software updates probably like, I would say an average of once every three weeks or a month so but it basically does it randomly um i just got an update the other day i had three updates i had to do and one of them consists of uh, they added something called boombox i still don't know how it works i still gotta figure out how it works so i'm i gotta try that out for at least a video or put it on my instagram so if you guys haven't already too follow me on instagram right there but yeah, software updates is a really cool feature. It's just like an iPhone or an Android or whatever you, whatever phone brand you have, they do updates and come out with new things. And I love that this car can do that. So yeah, with that being said, and without further ado, let's go on to the ninth thing. I'm trying to act become a singer. So any artists, any producers out there that want to sign me, sign your boy. Now the ninth thing I love about this car is going to be the comfortability. But let's keep going with the content. So yeah, I love how comfortable this car is. My ass honestly feels like it's sitting on clouds. And I don't know what Elon Musk did to these seats, but it feels like there's cotton balls on, all up on here. And I just feel like I can just honestly, every time I jump into this car, I feel like I can sleep. And I know it's not a good thing, but it is a good thing because at the same time I got autopilot, which is gonna be a little bit what I'm gonna be talking about on the 10th thing I love. So sorry to get ahead, but the comfortability is a big, big factor I love about this car too. I can honestly feel like I could take this car onto a 10 hour trip, a 11 hour trip, a 24 hour trip, a five hour trip. I mean, and just come out with like, not being sore or anything from driving because this car is very spacious, so comfortable. I mean, the steering wheel itself is thick and I love thick things. Um, <laughs> out of all the cars that I have, as well as my parents have, in the past and also in the present, uh, this has been by far the, the most comfortable car we have owned. And this honestly exceed all my expectation when it came to comfort, comfort, comfortability and the vegan leather on here even though it's not real leather honestly it feels like real leather and i couldn't tell the difference but this vegan leather if it's if it's the vegan leather that's making it so comfortable then please 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 all call makers and everybody please invest in vegan leather please because this is by far the move and yeah comfortability is a big thing in my eyes and this has it for sure. So with that being said, let's move on to the 10th and last reason. The 10th thing I love about this car is obviously the autopilot. Now this car has autopilot in case you guys don't know what that is. It's actually a feature that Tesla has that basically drives by itself and makes the car drive by itself. I really don't have to do just about nothing. It stops, it goes, it it steers for me, it goes left and right, things like that. Like I said, I'm a very lazy person. And this car made me even more lazier. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really hope my parents don't believe that because I'm not lazy, you know, I work hard. But no, the autopilot feature is a really go-to thing. And I use it basically every time I'm driving. I, there's about 99% chance that I'm on autopilot if you see me on the road. Um, just wave at me. I'll wave back, you know, wait, I'll show you no hands. You know what I'm saying? I just put my 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 knee right here Like this and it just starts driving by itself and I don't have to steer or anything or put my hand like this or anything like that I Just leave my knee like this and it honestly works. So that's the 10th thing I love about my car And that's the last reason why I love my car um, Tesla really done above and beyond with its cars and especially with this car and I love it I love it and I wouldn't change it this car for nothing for nothing in the world and
and yeah tesla 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 is a future go-to uh car and make that in the later future i will be purchasing another one or getting another one um when i start making my own money soon those are the top 10 things i love about my car subscribe and like if you guys haven't already come on subscribe already if you guys haven't come on hit that fat red button you guys know you want to and uh yeah our channel keeps growing our family keeps growing let's keep it up and pretty soon we're gonna hit 500 subscribers but keep it up guys i really appreciate the love and support that you guys show me and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and this what's poppin Who you brand new whip just hopped in i got oh, options i can open your ass up what are you doing You're making me look bad Sorry, one more time. Here I'm walking. Da, 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 da. Ignore my fingers. Oh, it's stuck. It opened by itself. <coughs> what is it with me choking? Water time.